Welcome back to another episode of the Seattle Sports Show where we love Seattle pro sports. I'm your host, Mikey, and today we are doing some more Seattle Seahawks seven-round mock drafts. But I'm not doing it. I'm going to let the computer do it. Some of you have been leaving some great suggestions for ideas on how to do some of these uh, mock drafts for fun. Um, And we're definitely going to do some of those. But I had another idea that I'm going to do here today first that uh, I think could be fun. Uh, I guess we're about to find out. Uh, And I'm not actually going to be doing the drafting. I'm just going to let the simulator do all the picks and then we're going to see how we like it uh well i'm gonna run a couple because this goes very fast so i'm gonna run a couple we will see how we like them and uh then you guys can tell me if you think the simulator did a better job than me in any of my previous ones um and we can even decide which of these that we think uh is the best overall because i think i'll run like three of these because it'll it'll go fast all right so i i I'm just letting the simulator do every single pick here. So let's jump in, and uh, when it gets to the end, we'll um, take a look at the list of what they decided to do for the Seahawks. So I'm not even going to list this one as, like, I think this would be, you know, if we were to, if I was actually doing it, it would be like 22.0. I'm not going to even list it as that. I'm just going to put it up as, like, a mock draft i'll give it some other sort of title or something but just so that we know that i'm not actually making the picks in this one uh, and that we want we just want to compare to what the simulator does compared to what i've been doing and if we like what the simulator does okay so let's just click on the seahawks so we can take a look at the list of what they did okay so and I'm actually going to take a screen capture of this so that I don't forget later and I can make a, a little deal for it. Okay, so let's take a look at what they actually decided to do. So in this mock, at 16, uh, Olamuaya Fashanu fell to them at Pick 16, that would be pretty amazing for the Seahawks, right? They did take Trevin Wallace at pick 81. To me, that's a good pick. Uh, At 82, there was a trade in here. Let's see if we can... uh, They traded pick 82. They received 82, and we traded our pick 102 and 18 to... Uh, the Colts to make this trade happen, but they traded back up into the third round here to get uh, Christian Mahogany uh, at pick 82. I love uh, Christian Mahogany. I think he's going to be good. So again, they they did some more for our offensive line here in the first three picks. Address linebacker need. So this is pretty good so far. Um, they took Dallin Holker out of uh, Colorado State, tight end at pick 179. Again, uh, that is you know, a pretty good athletic tight end that they took for you to fill out the rest of that depth in that uh, tight end room. Uh, Oh, wow, look at this, at pick 192. Um, Edwafon Olofishayo, linebacker out of Washington, at pick 192. Good pick. Uh, Again, filling out that linebacker room um, with a pretty decent... Uh, linebacker and then at 235 they got another center out of Michigan Drake Nugent so now we will have two Michigan centers uh, competing for a spot uh, that center spot on our line with uh, you know uh, uh, Oluolu to me and Drake Nugent now all right so there you go there is Mach 1 uh, you know leave it in the comment put like mock one and then put your grade next to it so we know what what we think about uh this first mock that the simulator did for us and let's run another one okay again we'll go seven rounds 
and we're going to see what the simulator does and see what it does different the second time if anything if anything different happens and uh if we like it yeah i mean um while we're waiting here for the simulator to go um you know uh the day i'm recording this u-dub had their pro day uh, we saw john schneider there and uh this afternoon we saw a lot of teams from around the league at washington's pro day no surprise because of michael Penix, because of roma dunze because of rosengarten uh because of um uh why am i <laughs> drawing a blank on the names but because of all the names that uh there were uh, on washington's team in general i mean you know 13 people at uh the combine again only behind michigan's 18 uh record setting 18 so yeah yeah teams are going after him okay so they definitely did something different in this one no trades uh in this second mock here let me grab a screenshot of this one again so i can save it for later um and beep boop there we go let's take a look at what they did now so they went with Dallas Turner, edge out of Alabama at pick 16. I do think so. This, again, to me, this is one of the players where that is one of the top edge players in this draft. If the Seahawks really want him, they can take him. There might be another team that wants him uh, as well. We know Nuosu. Uh, John Snyder said he's going to be back and he's healthy. Uh, Boye Mafi, if he continues to develop the way he has in his first two years of his career, you're going to be very happy with that. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what else they decided to do on the draft. But this is a guy that if you can get a haul for him, because he will be one of the top edge players in this draft, if you can get a haul for him, even if, uh, I mean, to me, a haul at that point would be, you know, it's like you're trading with somebody else at the end of the first, and they're also going to give you like a second round pick, then that that's the type of player that um, I would be willing to do that with. But I would also understand taking him. So that's what the simulator did in this one. They took Dallas Turner, 81, take Miss, uh, Miss, uh, Christian Mahogany <laughs> uh, again glad that they're taking somebody uh that i really like to fill that um offensive line room uh make wingo defensive tackle out of lsu at pick 102 okay i mean it's pick 102 so at that point you are in uh to the fourth round um i'd, I'd like to i'm gonna re reduce this we're gonna go into the fourth round here and i'm gonna kind of see who else was available around there based off of what other people take? I like McKinley uh, Jackson out of A&M. I like uh, Dwayne Carter out of Duke. Um, you know, there were some other options there that I might have went with over Mikai Wingo. Uh, but, you know, that's what, th th that's what the simulator decided to go with. Tanner Bordellini, uh, center out of Wisconsin. Uh, again, if you if you haven't picked up any offensive um, center at, at that point, that's not that's also not bad. But again, let me take a look at around here who you know who else was still available past pick one eighty t one eighteen. If anybody was there, um, oh, they even passed on Mason Smith out of LSU earlier on the other one. But anyways, um. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe Bordellini was a, a a pretty good pick for them there um, in round four, based off of seeing what other. Although Mason McCormick did go at one fifty two in this simulator, so I don't know. I mean, pretty decent pick, I suppose. Um, there at one seventy nine, they get Imani Bailey out of TCU, the running back. Uh, not sure about that, and then they went with Hunter Nurz uh, Nurzad out of Penn State uh, this another center I don't know if we need to be getting that many centers <laughs> uh, and then uh, they finally decided to draft 
Um, is that the first linebacker? The first linebacker they take in this draft is Jackson Mistral out of UConn at pick 235. Uh, so again, put Mach 2 uh, and then your grade next to it and let me know what you thought of that one. And then let's run one more just so that we have three, right? Um, third time's a charm, maybe. So we'll run three of these and then, oh, oops, I don't want to select the Seahawks. I just want to let this thing do it. All right. Uh, but yeah, uh, again, now we're waiting again. That that UW Pro Day, I mean, you saw uh, Michael Penix Jr. Uh, run a 4.540, uh, 36.5-inch vertical. Um dropping dimes on those deep passes like he's the best at in college football uh, the last couple of years looked good um i'm glad that he's uh you know there was a time and period like right after the season was over where people were like ah uh, maybe he's not going to be a first rounder maybe you know the injury history his age blah 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 and i was like that guy is just too good He's got too many skills and abilities. He's he's a he's a, a leader. Why would anybody pass on him in first round? Thankfully, I've been hearing more lately that um, you know uh, he's getting back up to that point where teams are like, oh yeah, th he should be a top twenty pick. So, um, ho hopefully he will be. Just because I I think I mean if he even if he's not going to the Seahawks I think he deserves to be a first round pick type of guy, uh just based on the skills. Okay, whoops. Let's take a look at um the final mock by the uh by the simulator here that we're gonna look at today. All right, so at pick sixteen they take Dallas Turner again, the edge of Alabama eighty one. They take Miss Christian Mahogany again. Uh, this time they do get some more offensive line help uh, before taking some other positions. All right, so this time they get Isaiah Adams, uh, offensive guard of Illinois out of 1-2, and again, Mason McCormick uh, out of South Dakota State at pick 118. So some good picks there, I think. Uh, again, really, uh, to me, Christian Mahogany can come in, uh, compete to be a starter right away, and then you do get a couple of guys filling out depth and competing for those depth spots, right? And then uh, at pick 179, a linebacker that I really like in this draft, um, Maris uh, Leofau uh, out of Notre Dame. You've seen me take him a lot in, in past ones. They go ahead and take Brendan Jackson, uh, our other edge player, out of uh, Washington State. Uh, so, the, you know, again, uh, getting some more depth uh, along that edge. And then at 235, Sanjiata Anderson, edge out of Grambling State. So they get a couple of edge players here at the end of the draft uh, to... Um, yeah, fill out the the rest of the depth chart um, uh, for that defensive line. So there you go. Uh, I better grab a screenshot before I forget on that one as well. And that is Mach 3. So uh, again, put Mach 3 uh, in the comments and your grade next to it and, and let me know what you think. And now that we've seen three mocks uh, by this simulator, uh, in the comments, I got to know, what do you think of the simulator versus me? All right. So um, what, do you, what do you think of what I did uh, in the past 21 mocks that I've done? You know, are any of these three better than any of the 21 that I've done that you say, yeah, uh, this simulated mock draft is better than every single one of yours, uh, and this is the one I would want them to go with, or is there one of the past 21 that I've done where you say, no, this is still uh, one I prefer, and I would love to know uh, which one out of the 21 that I've done that you uh, prefer the most uh, versus uh, what the simulator did here, all right? So there you go. Just a fun little thing to do here and one that uh, 
you know, made it easy for me and, and on my brain. I, I'm also recording this the night after Mariners uh, opening day. So I'm still coming down off of that high. So I thought, you know what, this will be an easy way for me to not have to think uh, too hard because my mind is still on the baseball game. But um, here we are with uh, this mock end. Uh, I'd love to know the answer to all those questions. Grade all three of those mocks. Uh, grade me uh, against the simulator. Who, who do you think did it? Who's, who's done a better job for the Seahawks, uh, me or the simulator? All right. And uh, yeah, uh, we're at about 150 subscribers now. So I'd love to, you know, see the next time I open up this app and uh, see how many subscribers I have. I'd love to see that 150. So please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave those comments. If you're listening on a podcast version, Apple Podcasts or Spotify, please hit the follow or subscribe button and then leave a five star rating and a written review because that uh, all of that uh, helps the show grow. And I really appreciate it. So thanks for listening to the Seattle Sports Show where we watch Legends Awaken. So take cover because with this sea of sound, you will see us rise to reign supreme and win forever.